project in the works, the reconstruction of the Franklin Road Bridge. WSLS 10's Christina Craig joins us now live from the bridge. So, Christina, this is already causing some headaches for people. Yes, come the start of next year, the Franklin Road Bridge will close and remain closed for 18 months. Now the old bridge will be completely torn down and rebuilt, and this will affect many drivers' travel routes. Some local businesses tell us that they're also concerned that this can hurt business. This commonly traveled road will soon close, cutting off drivers between downtown and Tower Shopping Center. It's kind of like a natural thing that you would just do every day, so it will take some getting used to. Morgan Atkins, the general manager at Wildflower, says she drives Franklin Road almost daily for work. Come the start of next year, Morgan is not thrilled to change her routine. Her concern is that this closure could hurt business. We might have a little bit of a, you know, lull initially, but I feel like everyone's going to just find a different way. Drivers will be forced to take either Interstate 581 or Jefferson Street. Mayor Sherman Lee says construction along Franklin is inevitable. A new bridge is a necessity. It's going to inconvenience some of our citizens for a period of time, but it's important for us after, uh, after the inspection to make sure that our infrastructure is safe. City manager Chris Morrill says the current bridge built in the 1930s is beyond repair and 25 years past its lifespan. And it's the same type of bridge as that one in Minneapolis that collapsed. Now ours is not in danger of collapse, but it needs to be replaced. The new bridge, costing more than $15 million, will come with sidewalks and bike lanes. City leaders say it's a short-term pain, but long-term gain. I'm sure it would put, you know, a few people out of their way, but I suppose we'll just move past it. If all goes well and construction keeps to schedule, the new bridge will reopen the summer of 2018, and we will keep you posted as we learn more. Reporting live in Roanoke, I'm Christina Craig, WSLS 10.